ating bandila sa ating bansa. Ito ang Kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. Ang One Filipinos Worldwide or OFW Party List po ay nandito para po magserbisyo ng totoo para sa inyo. Kasi sabi ko nga, hindi ko na kailangan maging politiko para po magserbisyo because I have been having the Buhay OFW Foundation for the past 22 years. So sabi ko nga, it's just on a bigger scope, on a bigger scale. Kaya nung ako po, uh, pin, hindi na mapinilit, ni-request ng ating mga OFW leaders na nakakasama ko for so many years, especially sa mga pamaskong handog ko, sa mga medical mission, impact awardees, medic, uh, sa mga scholarship natin, nalaman ko na gano'n na palaho kalalim ang naipundar natin. And I think that sa biggest sector ang nagpapanalo po sa OFW party listan. Ngayon dito po sa Kongreso, maligaya naman po ako bilang the lone representative ng OFW party list. Boses po ninyo ako dito, Congresswoman Marisa Dalmar Magsino. Ito ang Kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. Si Ben Tulfo sa hashtag Ipabitag Mo. Mahilig sumayaw ba itong tramper natin? Jesus Mario Josep. Oo, oh, hindi ako nakikipag-discussion sa'yo. Ikaw may problema pa. Sige-sige eh. Oh, so, Sabi hindi marunong madala. Mamamatay tao pa. Kumuna ang proseso ha. Kaya mainit ang ulo. Wala man ng uh, abiso. Iisa-isahin ko kayo. Manoore, bitag live at hashtag ipabitag mo. Alas 8 ng umaga at alas 10.30 ng umaga. Lunes ng Biyernes. Marios. Sa IBC 13. ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Showtime between 
two teams, the Capitals and the Tigers. So what a way to attack the defense now. The Tigers playing, they can score from the outside. The Nueva Ecija Capitals hope to build on its classic first game. The Dama Occidental Tigers fight their defense to come out with a win. We're about the offense of Dama. I'm going to let the way show your range. Oh! Oh! The Capitals is getting stronger only here. And the Filipinas in early President's Cup 2024, Pinoy Aida. We continue the coverage of the Filipina Super League President's Cup 2024 tonight as the Nueva Ecija Capitals defend home court against the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life for the Hoops Super Saya Fiesta. The Capitals display their strength in their first two games, stamping their class on the competition and coming home riding a two-game winning streak. The Tigers, on the other hand, have had mixed results splitting the four games they've played so far. Will the Nueva Ecija be able to defend the land, or is Davo Occidental here to spoil the party? Let's find out. Dito lang sa PSL kung saan Pinoy ang bida. Welcome to the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. The Davo Occidental Tigers will take on the home team, the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Hello, everybody. My name is Sandy Grimm alongside Noy, Noy uh, Africa. And, of course, uh, later on, we'll be joined by our court star reporter, Daniel Laguardia. Mayong gabi. Magandang gabi sa iyo, Noy. Magandang gabi. At ngayon, ang laban natin, it's the rice granary of the Philippines versus the Dorian capital of the <laughs> Philippines. So, kanin ba o Dorian? Uh, Pag-usapan muna natin ito. Noy Vaisia Capitals, so far, so good. 2-0 and oh, in coming into tonight. Yeah, that's right. And they were actually lucky to come away with the win against the Alpha Omega Kings. Had to rely on an 8-2 run in the final few minutes for them to get this victory in that game. They were they were able to win by a four-point margin. They were able to share the ball 30 assists to just 15 for Alpha Omega Kings. And the steals department 13 to 6 also for Nueva Ecija fast break points 19. And of course the bench came to play for them, producing 53. And a strong showing by Michael Mabulak in their last game. And he was our Kalos PH super player of the game. And uh, of course, Michael Mabulak can easily be a double-double machine for Dito Sanueva Isia finishing with 10 points, 13 rebounds, and more, most surprisingly, it's the seven assists, Sandy. And, and spare heading the bench, you know, in this tournament, uh, itong uh, bench will be a major factor for all the teams, uh, Noy. And of course, having a guy like Michael Wico coming off the bench for you, you know, finishing with 13 points on a, a very high 67% clip from the field, really just a very good weapon for Coach Gerson. On the other side of the floor, we have the Davao Occidental Tigers. Lost in their last game. They dropped their last game against the Quezon Titans. Let's see the numbers here, Noy. Yeah, and in that game against Quezon, they only had two players scoring in double figures against seven for Quezon. So it's going to have to take a real team effort for Davao to win. Uh, in this ball game against Nueva Ecija. In that game against Quezon, uh, they lost 90 to 68, only hitting 34% of their shots against uh, 44 for Quezon. Uh, the three point shooting, of course, an issue whenever you go up against Quezon. Quezon finishing with 16 made three pointers against just six for Davao. And the rebounding, something they have to work on, out rebounded 48 to 37 in their bench only producing 11 points for them. The Tiger on the rise, Justin Sanchez played big in their last game and also June Manzo. That's right, and Justin Sanchez, one of the revelations for the Davo Occidental Tigers, the, this young gun uh, finished with 21 points, eight rebounds and four steals in that loss against Quezon and of course his uh, tag team partner in that game, June Manzo hitting his stride, This their point guard coming from Cebu, really also one of the leaders, uh, up, up and coming leaders for this Davao Occidental Tigers team. In that game, he finished with 15 points together with five assists and two steals. So not only doing it on the playmaking end, but also on the defensive end. And now we go to our Coliseum uh, announcer for the introduction of both teams. Good evening, PSL fans, and welcome to Nueva Ecija Coliseum here in the beautiful province of Palayan, Nueva Ecija. 
This is the 2024 Filipinas Super League President's Cup. And now it's time to meet your super teams. First from your Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Live. Playing point guard number 23, June Mato. Student guard number 12, Joshua Flores. Small forward number 20, Justin Sanchez. Power forward number 22, Bam Bam Camalita. And at center number 33, Kelly Neville. Head coach for the Devils, Sitting Tall Tigers, Coco Live. Manu Inigo, assisted by Lolly Mills, Andy Mills, Odell Balinton, BL Sandalo, Andy Mills, and James Bartolome. Team owner, Honorable Cloud. Bautista, team manager Arvin Bon Leon, assistant team manager Joey Protasso. And now let's see Rabbi Zia Capitals. Point guard number 27. Chris Beaton. Shooting guard number 51, Byron Villarreal. Small forward number 24, Senor Explosivo, Mike Rito. Power forward number 8, Robbie Sellers. And at center number 14, Will McAloney. And goes for the NBA Capitals. Jerson Cabildes, assisted by Gonzalo Catalan, Florian Pineda, Arnold The starters for both teams, the Tigers will start with Jun Manzo, uh, Flores, Nabong Sanchez, and Gamalinda. The Capitals, the home team, will start with Bitoan, Villarias, Macaloni, who did not see action in the last game, Wico, and Celis. That's right, and uh, should be a welcome back for Macaloni who averages 11 points and 5 rebounds for them and he will be up against itong si Kelly Nabong who is another veteran presence that itong uh, Dava Occidental Tigers will need to rely on if they want to pull off this victory. And we are set to go again. We are here inside the uh, Nueva Ecija Coliseum. This is the president of the PSL. Chris Bautista and it's uh, also Alan Kaidig there, the PSL commissioner. Against a uh, ceremonial toss. Sinabi ko nga kanina, itong Tigers uh, talo sa last game nila. Tinambakan sila. Yeah, of course. Uh, yun nga. Uh, losing to the Quezon Titans who just earned their fourth straight victory earlier with that win over QC. So let's see how Davao Occidental Tigers will bounce back and definitely they will rely on their the only two players to finish in double digits in that game. At Sanchez home team, and Manzo. the Capitals controlling the tip. Bitoon did not see action in their last game. The drive inside, no basket. Macaloni unable to get the rebound. Sanchez grabs it down for the Tigers. Jun Manzo was set up the table. Bitoon on him. Double high play here for Davao. Good defense displayed by Drive Isiha. The separation move, Flores misfires. Gamalinda with the offensive rebound. Manzo, shot clock down to 10 seconds. Manzo, Bam Bam Gamalinda. And the ball goes out of bounds with two seconds to shoot. Right there, Gamalinda already had the shot, but did not have a clean cut. 
had to put the ball on the floor. Two seconds in their shot clock. June Manzo will throw it in for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Kelly Nabo. Oh, that's a 24 second shot clock violation. Dinya alam na two seconds na lang, no? And that's quite a surprise for a veteran player like Kelly Nabong not aware of the shot clock. The uh, Tigers, two wins and two losses in coming into this ball game. At masama pa dun against the uh, Quezon Titans, tinambakan sila in 90-68. Yeah, that's right. And uh, this would be an important bounce back game for them but unfortunately they will be going up against a team who is undefeated in two games actually Nueva Ecija very lucky to escape against the Alpha Omega Kings very close ball game until you know the last three four minutes were in the Nueva Ecija Capitals put on a, a telling run to put the game away Sanchez he has fouled Team foul number one for the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals. We could that time force to foul Justin Sanchez. Sanchez has the height of a big but moves like a guard. Look at the matchup of those. Celis and Sanchez, ano? Or Celis versus Gamalinda. Gamalinda will not score. Bito unable to get to it. We are still scoreless here in the first period. Celis inside. Rejected from behind by Sanchez. Manzo pushing it down. Sees the lane wide open. And the floater did not work out well. And the back tap there by Will McAloney. Salis misfires inside. Kelly Nabong able to get to it. And Flores thought he was fouled. No call there. Unproductive sequences on both ends in transition. Kelly, the drive, short. Rebounded by Celis. Macaloni asking for the ball. He gives it back. And that will be the first field goal of the game. Wico scores. Wico expected to provide the scoring punch for the Capitals. Michael Wico with a connection. Kelly Nabo. This is the fifth game of the Davao Occidental Tigers. Flores. Nabo 4 3. Short. He gets it back and he lost it. And Nabo diving for the loose ball. Gamalinda going to his left. He kicks it out. Flores for three. Still no goal for the Tigers. And in that sequence, you see Nabong fighting for the loose ball. However, Flores not. Wico for three. And rebounded by Sanchez. Sanchez flies and scores. And you like the dimension that Sanchez provides for Davao, being the one rebounding the basketball and also the one to go coast to coast for that layup. 6.25 to go. Tied at two all. Celis. Inside we go, no basket. Wico, the recovery and the putback. Story missed earlier for Wico was wide open on the great execution for Nueva Ziha, but able to clean up his miss. Sanchez. Oh, that's Bam Bam Gamalinda. Fouled by Rob Celis. Let's take a look at this. You know, Michael Wico not giving up on the play. And, and he has four points. Initially, he missed what should have been an easy two points. I guess wanted to start at that time. Also adding an offensive rebound. Offensive foul call in Sanchez. His first personal and the first team foul for the Davao Occidental Tigers. So on your screens. Head coach Manu Inigo going up against the, the veteran coach Gerson Tabiles. 
Bitoon. Celis goes inside for the two points. He said a good matchup between Celis and Gamalinda, but that time advantage goes to Celis for two points. Bitoon chasing Manzo. Manzo backs off. Now Macalone is on him. Nabo Bitoon defending. Bam Bam Gamalinda. Where is this going? Kelly scores plus a foul. And for a while, medyo na wala yung opensa eh. Yeah, Walang that, mapupuntahan. Yeah, that's why you want your veterans on the floor to be able to execute on a broken play. Right Good there, point. Gamalinda just trying to go inside, finding Nabong underneath. Kelly Nabong with his first two points of the game. He will go to the line. And of course, Kelly Nabong just... Uh, Doing it all may not be the biggest of bigs, but you know, he's gonna battle for the loose ball and has a decent touch from the three point area. Lang, sometimes you have it's to come down, oh, yeah. yung ulo niya eh. but I don't think he has that in him to come down. <laughs> That's the way he plays, he plays with his emotions on his sleeve. Villarias, and we have a foul away from the ball, it's gonna be on Flores. Rico is slow to get up. And he is okay. He's shaking up a little bit. Battle for position inside. And you know, Rico is a veteran in going up against uh, a greenhorn like Flores. He's just uh, selling that call. Celis. Block by Nabong, and he traveled. And Celis now going up against the veterans of Davao earlier. Scored on Bambam Gamalinda this time. Stopped by Kelly Nabong. Bonbon Custodio will see action. He did not see action in their last two games. Definitely we all know that he's a great scorer. Yeah, definitely going to add a very good scoring punch for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Drew Manzo. Seven of the 24. Here is Bonbon Custodio. Nabong with a follow. Yes. You know, when Kelly Nabong is in control, just always providing a lot of positives for Davao. And a good start here by Kelly Nabong now with five points and two rebounds. And we have a delay of game warning on the Davao Occidental Tigers. That's Manu Inigo on your screen, the head coach of the Davao Occidental Tigers. Again, we are here inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum in Palayan City, Nueva Ecija. And the ball stays with the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals. Last touch, para kay Bonbon Costolio. This trip actually has been a geographic le <laughs> uh, lesson for me. I didn't think that uh, it was Palayan City, which was the capital of Nueva Ecija. All the while, I thought it was Cabanatuan. Macaloni with a move inside and the two points. Will Macaloni did not play in their last game because of some prior commitments. But definitely Will Macaloni always uh, an imposing presence inside for Coach Gerson. Katawagan ng foul si Villarias sa ilalim. Mahirap kasi yung bantayan itong si ano eh. Si Bonbon Custodio. Beautiful move there by Will Macaloni. And we're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, the veterans going up against each other. As you see there, Roy Suma. You know, the, the lineup of the Nueva Ecija Capitals, a combination of uh, new players and uh, veteran players. Yeah, that's right. And uh, definitely Roy Suma, really uh, just a ball of energy and scoring. May kortisa pa dyan, may durumal pa. And they can run. Their bigs can also run. Roy Sumang has been known as a scorer in all levels that he's played in. Will Macaloni. Robles. Macaloni is fouled by Nabong. And that means two free throw for Will Macaloni. Nabong that time showing some restraint. Trying to control himself from complaining. 
Will McCallone, part of that championship team, the USC Warriors back in 2015. And it's nice to see him now in the PSL. So far in the tournament, has averaged 11 points and five rebounds. He played for USC. That's uh, Mayor Viandre Cuevas with the commissioner, Alan Kaidig of the PSL, the mayor of Nueva Ecija. New player on the floor, Kelly Navan will take a seat. Katapusan, CJ Katapusan in the game. For uh, the Tigers. And the Capitals now in the penalty. And they're actually, the team trying to put on some full court pressure. But this should uh, be a factor here, the penalty situation. And you know, the veterans of Dava will try to take advantage of this. One more free throw for uh, Bonbo Custodio. The Tigers shooting 25% from the field. And the Capitals, 36% from the field. That's 4 of 11 here in the first quarter. Roy Suman guarded by CJ Katapusan. Inside we go. Basketball count! That's Jean Paul Magulliano. Of course, Jean Paul Magulliano playing for Coach Gerson in the college ranks for the EAC Generals and just showing his familiarity with the system of coach Gerson. The Capitals perfect from the free throw line here in the first a quarter and I just jinxed the guy. As you always do. Ryan Costello in the game for the Tigers replacing June Manzo. CJ taken away by Roy Sumang. You have to be careful with the basketball and De Leon, the rebound, Costello. CJ going to his left and scores. Like how Katapusan just went up for that finish. No hesitation, easy two points. For three, Robles scores from downtown. You cannot leave Billy Ray Robles open. First three-point shot for Robles here, 15 to 9. De Leon, wide open from the line and scores. Getting to his sweet spot on the floor, De Leon will knock that down. Last two minutes of the first period. Inside. And Magoliano will go again to the line. Magoliano not really the tallest of players. When you look at him. Pero magaling. Pumuesto. Pumuesto. Mm, and able to use yung lapad nga ng katawan. Yes, magaling gumamit sa katawan at uh, magaling pumuesto. Ayun. Di, wala. Pasok yung unang free throw. Before this trip, ay namintis niya yung kanang, ang kanyang uh, bonus free throw. So Magaliano starting to earn minutes for Coach Gerson, averaging seven minutes per ball game. I think these are his first points in the tournament. Custodio trying to create space. Look at that move. Bonbon bon, Custodio with his first two points of the game playing the same way as when he started in the, the UE Red Warriors. A little slower, but, you know, he's a real, a real shot maker. Wide open, Chris Kelly. See there, that spin move on the post-up for 
Bonbon Custodio finishing on a fadeaway. CJ. Magoliano on him. Custodio. Katapusan. Will score inside the feed by Bonbon Custodio. I think that time giving Magoliano a taste of his own medicine. Being able to position himself properly only had to spin and had the layup right there. The Tigers, 6 of 15 from the field here. Chris Kelly misfires inside. De Leon able to get to it. Costello brings it down for the Tigers. 30 seconds to go in the first period. 4-3. Bang! Lyon providing some scoring with that three-pointer average just nine points for coach Manu Inigo and gives Davao a two-point lead. Mark uh, Olayon there scoring for the Davao Occidental Tigers. They are ahead now by two. Roy Sumang. Magulliano backs off. Taken away by Costello. But no more time remaining. End of the first period. The biggest first period na the night. Kaopening pala natin kaya na. Nakatayo pa tayo. And uh, of course, the, the action really fast and frenetic here. The Tigers 18, the Capitals 16 at the end of one. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Yes! Ang inanamas! Palakpakas! Grabe, ang daming fans ni Mayor. Mayor, bago ka sumayaw, batiin mo muna ang iyong bayan. Go! Alright, nag-enjoy ba kayo guys? At ngayon, mas papa-enjoyin tayo ni Mayor dahil, Mayor dahil sa sayaw na ito. Mayor, ready ka na. Alright, Maestro, music please! Yes! Oh guys, palakpaka naman para kay Mayor John! Alright, one, two, one more. Yeah, one more. Yes! One more. yes. Jump, jump! Yeah, Palakpakan! Palo! Kapilabo! Slide, mas slide! Kapila! Roll it! Talikod pa yun! Palakpakan para kay Mayor! Yes! Mayor, meron kami regalo galing sa, para sa Don Benitos, Bambansang Kasama, Cup galing sa... Bola na TV and cash price mo! Palakpakan natin ating Mayo! Ganito kasaya kay PSL guys! Kita kay Stylet! Kuya City! For Daba Walks at the Tigers, Coco Life Coach Manu and Igo has mentioned two of their players are actually setting this game out. Those two are Kurt Lohera who has suffered a stitch he uh, on his lip and has not been given the clearance to play yet. And Tony Inot who suffered a sprain in their last game. It will be a big disadvantage but Coach Manu said that they were still very positive coming into this game. Para naman sa Nueva Ezeha Capitals, Coach Jerson Kabil just mentioned that every strong team coming from a loss always wants to bounce back. If they, want, if they won't match their intensity, may kalalagyan sila. However, Coach Jerson added that Paper Tigers don't bite. It's not about the show or the lineup. It's about how you play when you're inside the court. Tagal natin ano ba ang magiging takbo ng laro na ito. Sandy and Noy. Yeah, and of course, you're missing the services of some key players for Davao. You're missing the services of Ino to average just 11 points per game. And then Lohera, another double-digit scorer. Well, for the side of Nueva Ecija, we saw earlier in street clothes, Jonathan Oiluan not going to be around together with Bobby Bulacanag, Balucanag for Itonga and Nueva Ecija. So it's really a matter of which teams will be able to adjust to the absences they have on the floor. Tinahi yung lip ni... Kurt Lohera. Oh, Kurt Lohera. 
and not yet getting uh, clearance from the doctors. Eamon Kalos is action for the first time. Para dito sa Capitals, Kalo catch and shoot for three! What a way to announce their presence with a three-pointer. A former player of the University of the Visayas. And the three won't go, rebounded. By Billy Ray Robles. Sumang with the move inside. No. CJ, the rebound. Costello into the hands of Mark Anthony Olayon, who scored that time. You see there, Costello, despite falling to the floor, being able to have enough control to make that pass and will be credited with an assist. So far, it's a good game for the Davo Occidental Tigers. They're ahead 23-19. And Mancalo scored a three-pointer earlier. Right now for Davao, just uh, doing everything not to get this Nueva Ecija crowd engaged. And they are playing with a lot of energy compared to their game in their last game versus the Titans. Costello has fouled by Culiado. And I guess uh, the veterans also reminding the young players to expect the energy to be at a high here for Nueva Ecija being a uh, home, home game for the capital. So... So far, they've been able to respond. As you see on your screen, it's coach Gerson Cabiltes. The uh, Tigers, one out of three from the free throw line here in the first half. And at the line is Ryan Costello. You know, Ryan Costello coming from San Sebastian, known to be more of a scorer, but, but has really matured and developed into a playmaker as soon as he entered the professional ranks. Four points, two assists for Costello. Now he has five points in this game. Pabilisan ng ano ito? Palitan ng players. Itong dalawang kupunan, Noy. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the quality of players coming off the bench almost equal to the ones on the floor, and this is a testament to the depth of the benches of both teams. And the three won't go 16 points for the bench of the Tigers. Good bench scoring so far for the Davao Occidental Tigers, and they really need it. Yeah, that's right, especially missing the services of guys like Inot and Lojera. De Leon very short. Foul on Sanchez for putting so much body on uh, Eman Kahlo. That's right, and that's only the first personal foul on Sanchez, but Sanchez only with two points and two rebounds so far. Seven minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first half. Doromales in the game, fouled by Costello. Axel Duromal should be a tough cover for Costello, a lot speedier than Ryan. Oops. Ayun. Hindi nakatak in eh. Warning yan. Axel Dromal guarded by Costello. Eman Kahlo attacks. Short on the reverse, picked up by Costello. Here come the Tigers of Davo Occidental. They are ahead by six. You know, too many extra motions here for, for both teams, uh, Noy. And of course, you expect this to be a very physical ball game, but you can see Costello in... Uh, Colliado, I believe, uh, just laughing that one off. Sanchez throwing it in. Costello coming off the screen, and he gets the kind bounce. A good start for for uh, Ryan Costello here in the first half. Axel Dromal with the move too strong, rebounded by De Leon. Sanchez not looking 
at the ball and he step out of bounds. And I think, uh, you know, the fault there lies with De Leon. Yes. Nakatalikod pa si Justice Sanchez. Binigyan na niya yung bola. 6.29 to go. 27 for the Tigers. 19 for the home team, the Nueva Ecija Capitals. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media. Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League. YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Mga kaliga, kasama ko ngayon ang PSL Superfan ng Nueva Ecija Capital sa si Darius. So Darius, kunaran, ano ba ang masasabi mo sa team ng Nueva Ecija ngayon? Ang team ng Nueva Ecija ay... Isang uh, malakas na team at uh, sana po ay patuloy nating suportahan ang team ng Nueva Ecija. Salamat once again. That was Darius, a PSL superfan of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Let's get back to you, Sandy and Noy. Totoo naman talaga, Noy. Malakas itong team ng Nueva Ecija. Sabi nga natin kanina, ang ganda ng uh, ang lineup nila, eh, no? Yeah, that's Kombinasyon. right. And also, everything starts with the coaching staff. Of course, Coach Gerson Cabiltes has been winning at everywhere that he's been going and even now venturing into the college ranks with Ngayon the AAC naman. Generals. And balik siya sa pro. So I think right now what uh, Davao has been doing is not uh, allowed this crowd of Neva Isia into the ball game. And you know, the, the noise has only been coming from the drums. 4-3. Manzo misses. Eman Carlos saving it for the uh, Capitals. He gets it back. Sanchez on him. Culiado for three. Got it! And Culiado, despite that wide body, you know he can shoot it from anywhere. You cannot leave him open. Olayon misfires. Axel Doromal. Doromal for three. Yes! Those back-to-back -back threes cuts the lead down to just five points for Davao. 27 to 25, the Capitals to within two. And Axel Dromal scoring from downtown. Back in a moment. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist. C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Bawang, sibuyas, bigas, pati na ang tao ng budget at mga bagong bills. Samahan niyo kaming gisahin ang mga panukalang batas na ito na ihahain sa taong bayan. Linggo, 10 o'clock po ng umaga. Dito sa Ito ang Kongreso. Thirteen of the 24, June Manzo. And he lost it, but uh, a foul called on M. Mancalo. Two former UV players. Laban ng mga Bisaya. Oh. Actually, uh, you know, the there's last... There's a on your screen. Yeah, the last basket from Axel Doromal. Uh, Axel Doromal used to be with the Arellano Chief. Has, Arellano Chief has now transferred to the school of uh, Coach Gerson Cabiltes in uh, EA. He is playing big. It's a backup point guard for the team. And it goes out of bounds. Kelly Nabong not taking care of the basketball. Uh, 
Manu Inigo on the screen earlier. The Tigers ahead by two points, 27-25 because of two straight triples by the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals. 4-3. Rebounded by Kelly Nabo. So the Capitals, four of nine from beyond the arc here in the first half. The uh, Tigers, two of eight. That's 25% shooting from beyond the arc here in the first half. The three, no. Rebounded by Bam Bam Gamalinda. And a steal by Eman Kahlo. Kahlo goes inside, basket. Offensive foul. Caught warding off the defender. Did he really do it? Yeah, actually he did. Uh, just a uh, late whistle, I guess. Let's see they're clearing no. out June Manzo. Well, I don't know about that call, Noy. Well, it was a trail referee who had a better angle than us to call that. 4-3, Sanchez knocks it down from downtown. Well, that's a big turnaround there for uh, what have, could have been a three-point play. We have a good one here, Noy. 30-25 is our score. 4-3. And rebounded by Justin Sanchez. The drive inside, no connection. And the follow by... Ontek for that time Onteco. for Davao. Good move there by Josejo. I saw him in the warm-up, the, the donkey. Of course, one of, uh, also one of the AAC generals for Coach Gerson. So, you know, yung sinasamang halo ng veterans at young ones, yung young version, uh, you know, the, the young players that Coach Gerson has, most of them coming from the AAC generals in the NCAA. Eman Kahlo will take a seat. He had his moments. Back in the game, Caselis, Macalone, and Wico for the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals. Right now for Nueva Ecija, they have most of their starters on the floor, save for Axel Doromal. The Tigers, they're shooting three of six at the foul line here in the uh, first half. The Tigers continues to lead in this game. Good game so far. Sabi kong good game. Wala. Si Kelly Nabong very relaxed ngayon eh. No? Oh, yeah, very much in control. And, oh. and I guess that's helping uh, Davao here. Doromal misses the three. Bonzo met by Wico. Foul away from the ball. It's going to be an Axel Doromal. Nakita ka agad ni Sanchez. Eh. Mamismatch na no, doon sa ilalim. Yeah. So that, he was trying to see it. We've been seeing a lot of that from Davao. Being able to recognize those mismatches. And quickly they try to fight for position underneath. Hindi mo kukunin mo si Doromal. Papasok mo si Bitoon. Parang wala nangyari ano. No. And uh, actually it's just really Coach Gerson trying to put in his uh, first five to try and close out this first half. Justice Sanchez. Six points, three rebounds and one assist here in the first half. And he goes two out of two at the line. Seven points already for him. And just imagine having a, a 6'5", mm -hmm. a guy being able to do everything on the floor. Four three. Last touch, Wiko. And right now for Davao, they have to keep itong si Byron Villarias in check. You know, pag nagsimulang uminitin from the outside, that could just be uh, a streak of shots from the outside. Oh, tatawagan ng foul. Itong si Wiko, nakatutuwan sila eh, no, Noy? That's right, and for Vico, that's already the second personal foul for him. Ah, foul naman. Natakam dun sa, ano, sa loose ball. He had access to that ball, but a little too late. 
So once again, it's Weber is see her in the penalty. Jerusalem Kabil is on your screen. And he continues to talk to the referee. We completing his case. Pero sabi nga natin, eh, final na yun eh. Yeah, Judgment but, call yun. Yeah, but of course, uh, our coaches will continue to work the referees. Well, you know, in the end game, eventually all that uh, talking will help you. Sanchez uh, uh, shooting pretty well at the uh, free throw line. The Tigers 7 of 10 from the free throw line here. Two out of two again for Justin Sanchez. I think that was uh, Olayon. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I think I'm a little lost here. was in view. Sumong for three. Picked up by Sanchez. Two on on him. Kelly Nabong. Bam Bam working inside and he gets the two points. The assist by Kelly Nabong. And yet again, finding a mismatch there, Gamalinda. Being defended only by Roy Sumang. The Tigers shooting pretty well from the field. 14 of 29 here in the first half. Bitoon backs off, Marquez on him. The screen by Will Macaloni into the hands of Wico. Now Gamalinda on him. And a good basket there by Michael Wico with a penetration. Michael Wico just really going strong against the defense of Kelly Nabong. You know you cannot go with the weak stuff in front of Kelly Nabong just going into the defender that time. Tatawagan ng Fauci, Kelly Nabong. Wiko, six points, two rebounds. Now he has seven points here in the first half with a minute 38 to go. And you know, in the pregame, we were talking about his uh, production coming off the bench. But in this game, he has started and so far has been leading the way for Nueva Ecija. Pressure being put up by the home team, the Capitals of Nueva Ecija. A minute 27 to go. June Manzo. The three. Yes! Joseph Marquez for his first three-point field goal. To go with uh, earlier two free throws that he made. has now a total of five points. McAloney going strong inside. Basketball count for him. Will McAloney will go to the line. Six points and one rebound for Will. That was a quick early offense there. No one stopping the basketball and Macaloni using the sidestep on De Leon. And he's a very strong player, I tell you. And uh, showing also that he has some agility in his body. From Naga City, Cebu. That's a free throw violation. And you like how he was aware that he was going to miss the free throw. But a lane violation right there. The uh, Tigers, the 10 point advantage here, 42 to 32, with a minute 10 to go. Costello is in the game. Manzo with a drive, yes! June Manzo attacking the baseline. Good screen by De Leon. Yeah, that's right, and that's uh, eff uh, effectively after breaking the press, went all the way to the rim. That's how sometimes you want to uh, uh, attack that press. Beton. Picked up by Costello into the hands of June Manzo. Manzo will score over Roy Sumang. And, uh, you know, it's Manzo that time just being able to attack in transition. 40 seconds to go. We'll be right back here watching the PSL. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist. C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, 
Don Benitos, ang pambansang kasaba. Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Don Benito sa pambansang kasama at kapdalik sa Bola Bat TV at additional 100 pieces! Ganito lang tayo guys sa PSL. Masaya lang. Kuya Sini, see you later. Peace! Let's take a look at this. Manzo attack on the baseline. June Manzo. With back-to-back -back baskets this time. Just uh, pulling up at the right time for that floater. Properly timed against Roy Suma. And Drew Manzo with four points, one rebound, and, and two assists here in the first half. Good play there. Robles. Oh! Ho -ho! It started from the top, and then it was an open corner for Billy Ray Robles. And uh, that cuts down that lead down to 11 as we go to the end of the first half. Costello. De Leon for two. Rebounded by Celis. Bilis to makbo nitong Davo. Oh, yung Davo si Ho. That's a travel. Bilis nga eh. That's sobrang bilis. <laughs> Nauna na, 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 sa goal. Eh. That's right. With three seconds to go, nag-timeout itong... Uh, Devil Occidental Tigers will be right back, 46 to 35. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Protelist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live. Blast TV and Bola.TV Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV The games on Monday at the uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan First game will be at 6pm, Bico Spicy Oragons will be uh, up against CV uh, Siniloan Dragons Second game, 8pm, the RCP Denver Gods versus the San Juan Kings. That will be on Monday at the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan. Two seconds. One second. That would do it. Jude Manzo unable to score. And let's take a look at our dumper super move of the game brought to us by Dumper Party List. Here is Bam Bam Gamalinda working inside. There the two points. Bam Bam Gamalinda, You're very quiet, but he is making his presence felt inside. And at the end of two quarters of action here in Nueva Ecija, the Devil Occidental Tigers looking good. They're up 46, the Capitals of Nueva Ecija 35. Hi, everyone. Please follow and subscribe. Filipinas. Super League social media channels sa YouTube at sa Facebook nila. God bless you at mabuhay kayo. Walang mintis na pagbabalita. Inyong matututukan. Nilinaw ng Philippine Coast Guard na hindi intentional. Magandang balita para sa mga motorista. Dalawang minutong news updates. Ihahati sa inyo buong maghapon. Sa nagpapatuloy na pagdinig ng Senado. Pinangunahan mismo ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. IBC Express Balita. Mula lunes hanggang biyernes. Dito lang sa IBC 13. Hey, Hoop fans, welcome to the President's Cup 2024 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Let's dive straight into the action, starting with number 10. He backs off, finds a good inside, taken away by Villa Rios. Nice pass to Wico for oh, two. Plus a foul! Oh, and then the Villa Rios stopped it correctly. And then Tuloy Tuloy, you would really appreciate that. He's 
sinasabi natin yung core, yung teamwork nila. At number 9. Shot clock at 7. There's the separation and the 3. That's good! The 8 to 53, FG Altamirano. Top 8. Prince Rivero, he attacks. Oh, Ganda what a shot naman. by Prince Rivero. Twisting him in there. Nice reverse by Prince. Making it on 7. Very thing going left and right. Oh. Gives it to Opiso. Opiso making it sure that he will score inside. That's First two points for Opiso here in the third period. That was a good up and under move from Opiso. Sliding into number six. Too much passing, I think, in traffic. Four on two situation. Gabriel, oh, no, wow! Beautiful Woo! process! Ganda ng pasa ni Gabriel. Making things happen. Hindi pinipilit. Oh, eh. Everybody was expecting him to take it strong. Yeah. Through at number five. Still the two-point advantage for the City Stars. Two and a half left. Starting third quarter. Look at that pass by Marcia Arellano and that finish. Take another look at that uh, pass from Marcia Arellano. Beautiful no-look pass. And uh, Segura, sinigurado naman. The vision of Marcia Rilliano. Cracking into the top four. Roy Suma inside to Cruzeo. Into the cutting wheel. Macaloni wow, for two. Beautiful. Basket for Calpas the foul. He came out of nowhere. Kasi ni expect mo si Cruzeo na dahil ang lapit na eh. Panira na. Kasi sabihin natin yung sitwasyon ni Cruzeo. But look at the cups by uh, Macaloni. Podium time at number three. Alpha Omega is the sila who pulling the baro. Tinaro nila ang MK sniper. Look at this behind the back pass and Kalonga trying to run away with this game. Game? Ano kaya ito? Nice. Nice the pass by no look behind the back pass. At number two, Canaleta. That's actually the shot he wants. Balisteros going outside Canaletta. Oh! Oh! Yung 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 sabi natin eh. Nung nakawala doon, wala nang hubel para pigilin si Canaletta sa may baseline. So, diretsyo na. Nakabuelo, partner. And the top play of the week. Ano nakakatakot yung mga pasa ko? Oh. Delikado yung mga pasa ko. Oh! 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 It's a Kamento with a flush! That's going to be one, the number one highlight <laughs> of the week. Of the week. That's a wrap for our top 10 plays of the week. Stay tuned for more basketball brilliance. And until next time, keep the hoop spirit alive. Hi guys, this is Coach Mav and I'm inviting everyone to please like, follow and subscribe Filipina Super League social media channels on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Huwag natin kalimutan suporta ng PSL and guys, enjoy watching their games.
All right, we are back here inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. And the Capitals chasing the Tigers in the entire game, 46 to 35. Some highlights back in the first half. Will McAloney showing uh, his, his moments back in the first half. Eman Carlos scored, what, five points in the first half. Big plays for the Capitals. And you know, just when he thought Nueva Ecija was uh, going for a rally, just some timely hits for uh, Davao Occidental Tigers, even outscoring Itong Nueva Ecija 28 to 19 in the second quarter. But looking at the first half stats, you have the Davao Occidental Tigers hitting half of their shot 17 out of 34 against 13 out of 37 for Nueva Ecija. Rebounding has been the domain for the Tigers, out rebounding Nueva Ecija by 14 points in the paint. Still the same story, Davao outscoring. Itong Nueva Ecija by 10. That's the mayor of Palayan City, Leandre Cuevas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, uh, the mayor of Palayan City. Together with basketball operations head, Farley Aguila. Uh, yeah, we, have, we are having a grand time here. First out-of-town game of the PSL President's Cup. And uh, what a ball game we have here. Of course, looking at the leading scorers for both teams for Davao, it has been Costello and Sanchez finishing with seven each. While for also Kelly Nabong and Olayon contributing five points. And for Nueva Ecija, you have Wico leading the way with seven, Macaloni and Robles with six, and Colliado with a three-pointer in the first half. So we are set to go here, the uh, third period. Coming your way. And again, we are live on IBC 13. We are also live at the, uh, we are also live, Bola.TV, Fiverr TV, Blast TV, and our Facebook page, uh, PSL, uh, Filipina Super League, and our YouTube channels. Again, it's Viandre Cuevas, the mayor of uh, Palayan City, together with uh, the uh, PSL commissioner, uh, the trigger man, Alan Kaidik. And it's an honor to be in the same building as this shooting legend, Coach Alan Kaidik, now the commissioner of the PSL. June Manzo, earlier, and Eman Kahlo, now back in the game here in the third period. Lamang dito ang bisita ng Nueva Ecija itong Davao Occidental Tigers. As we're seeing... Uh, Mabulak now starting for Nueva Ecija in the second half. Has not made much of a difference so far. Only a rebound to his name. Katawagan na foul itong si Bam Bam Gamalinda. Who lost his focus in their last game. Uh, kaya natalo sila ng malaki. This is the Quezon Titans. And you know, itong si Gamalinda, one of the veteran leaders for Coach Manu Inigo. PSL fans here in Saudi, we are inviting you to watch the games live, right? Sa mga venues na pupunta natin, uh, sa Phil Oil, sa Central Recreation and Fitness Center, sa New Era University, sa Paco, Paco Arena. Yeah. Oh, man, uh, Phil Oil tayo sa Monday. Sa Tuesday, Paco tayo eh. Then Wednesday, back to Phil Oil. Uh -oh. And admission is free. So yeah. that's enough incentive for our basketball fans. And Manza turned the ball over. So, this is a good sign for the Tigers because they are playing minus Tony Inot at lamang sila dito and also uh, Kurt Lohera. Kurt Lohera. Na, puro parehong scorers yun. Yeah, those are double-digit scorers for Davao. Good shot there. Inside by Billy Ray Robles. You know, Billy Ray Robles is a potent scorer. He averages 8.5 for Nueva Ecija. Manzo is being chased by Roy Sumang. Bam Bam will not get the kind bounce. Rebounded by Sumang into the hands of Bam Bam Gamalinda. And Gamalinda is fouled by Will Macaloni. Number 14. At the time you're seeing Gamalinda, you know, he was the one who took the shot, but he was the first guy back on defense able to steal the basketball.
Let's check the bench. Let's check the bench scoring for both teams. Noy. Yeah, ready for itong sa Davao Occidental Tigers. 27 big points. And remember, in the pregame, we did mention that they only got 11 points from the bench in that loss against Quezon. While for the side of uh, Nueva Ecija, already 24 points. So almost negating each other are the benches of both teams. Robles, too deep. The follow, no basket. So the presence of Macaloni and Mabulak on the floor at the same time. They're just expecting a lot of physicality underneath, especially since they're going up against Kelly Nabong on the other end. That's the third personal, Will Macaloni, right? Two team fouls now para dito sa Nueva Ecija Capitals. Flores. Ball stays with the Tigers. You know, M. Mancalo brings a lot of energy when he, when he is inside the court. <laughs> My <Yeah>. nagmapi. <laughs> You know, that's exactly why he is on the floor, aside from being able to provide the scoring as Nabong will be called for an offensive foul here, claiming that he was being held down by Mabulak. Nice answer to uh, Mabulak. Malaki kasi si Kelly Nabong. Kitang-kita eh. Nasa likod niya yung referee. Ayun. Yeah, definitely caught with a push there. And you know, Mabulak will sell that call. Eman, Mabulak is fouled. He hesitated for a while. Kasi gusto niya umataki. Mm, but uh, that gave enough time for Manzo to try and help. However, caught holding on to the arm. Mayong gabi kaninyo talan sa mga nagtanaw na to dia sa Visayas. Uh, sa Mindanao, Giri sa Luzon, at ang mga igala niya sa Davao Occidental. And Villaray Robles continues to score at difficult times. That's right. And uh, Villaray Robles now with double digits with 10 points for Nueva Ecija. And slowly but surely, the, the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals to within 5. 46 to 41. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by... Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League. YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. They cannot take this game lightly. Going into this game, Coach Jerson mentioned that Davao is a strong team and has a big chance of defeating them. But he also said that they will play according to their life and they will play to win. A rising tiger is what they call him. Justin Sanchez of Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Life, has mentioned that para sa kanya, his teammates give him a peace of mind. Dahil nga mga pro at veteran players sa mga ito sa team nila, matuturuan at ipapahita sa kanya ang mga dapat gawin in and out of the court. Dagdag rin ni Justin na kung mag-uusap-usap sila sa loob ng court, kakayanin nilang punahin ang kulang sa kanila. Tagan natin how the rising tiger will help his team rise back up again. Back to you, Sandy Anoy. Of course, for Coach Gerson, they don't, do not want to take this game lightly despite the 2-2 two two win-loss record for Davao Occidental. You know, this is a very dangerous team, especially with a guy like Justin Sanchez who now looks up to his veteran teammates for 
peace of mind and guidance. Sancho scoring for the Tigers and Robles scoring for the Capitals, 48 to 43. Seven minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the third. De Leon, thinking three, changes mind. Bam Bam Gamalinda spins short. Tatawaga na foul itong si Eman Kahlo. Yeah, 12. Si Eman Kahlo ang tatawagan. When you like the footwork display there for Bam Bam Kamalinda, although lacked a lot of power on that scoop shot. Ganda ng footwork. Very basic. But a little short on the shot there. Bam Bam, mabulak on him. Manzo guarded by Roy Sumang. Manzo very quiet here in the third. Manzo sees pace. He kicks it out. Bam Bam Gamalina for three. Macalone able to get that loose ball. <laughs> and uh, he did not like the late call. Well, usually players hate those uh, late calls. But also going back to Bam Bam Gamalinda. I think he was cleared from an ACL injury just a few months ago, and it's nice to see him back here in the oh, PSL. Oh. Mahirap din yung nagka-ACL kayo, no? Mas maganda yung PSL. Oh, oh, diba? Oh, it's, uh, ACL. ACL. 48 to 43. And Will Macaloni is fouled inside by Justin Sanchez. And you know, Will Macaloni will always be that aggressive guy. The strong move by Will Macaloni. He will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Macaloni, six points, one rebound. Now he has uh, seven points, and one rebound. Gerson Cabutis on your screen. Mano Inigo on your screen. Well, you, you would bata, think... mga head coaches natin dito sa PSL, eh, no? That's right. And also for, you know, Will Macaloni for that wide body that he has. I think it's quite a surprise for him to be only averaging five rebounds. And only in this game, just one. You'd like to see him to be more aggressive on the rebounding department. Six minutes and 20 to go. Macaloni guarding Sanchez. Sanchez puts the move and he is fouled by Will. That will be his fourth personal. Well, I was going to say that Will Macaloni showing that he can uh, hang around in the perimeter with Justin Sanchez, but he will be called for a foul there. So I said, correct, it's going to be his third. And he will stay there. Sanchez. And that's why Sanchez is really a difficult cover. You know, he can put the ball on the floor and right now also complaining that the ball's a little wet. He is perfect at the free throw line. I don't want to jinx him. Oh, my God. Of course you did. <laughs> 49 to 45. The Tigers will try to close the gap here. They're within four. Mabulak scores. It's going to be four points now for Michael Mabulak, who averages seven for them. And the Tigers... Up by two, foul is called on Mabulak. Too aggressive on the close out there. Clipping the three-point shooter will give Costello three free throws. Ang reklamo ni Mabulak ay hinatak siya, no? Ni Costello. Good presence of mind by Costello. Oh. Veterano. Your guess is as good as mine. You know... Yung mga veterano lalo, pag naisahan ng isa pang veterano, oh. doon talaga sila nagagalit eh. Hindi <laughs> nila magugustuhan yun eh. That's uh, Ryan Costello on the screen. Good game so far for him. Costello with... Tingnan natin, another angle. Open-open eh. He will not get the kind bounce. Costello with seven points, two rebounds, and five assists in this game. And right now, that ball is refusing to lie. 
as Costello has made his first two. And he gets the second free throw. Eight points now for, for Costello. 50-47, both teams are in the penalty. This could be a long 5-45 and 45 in the third quarter. We go to the corner, Bellele, Robles for three! Billy scores from downtown. And now this crowd is engaged. That's Robles now, the leading scorer with 15 points. We are tied at 50 all. Bonbon bon Custodio working against Mabula. There's the fadeaway. And he hits nothing but air that time. Roy Sumang lost it momentarily. Mabula. And he gives it back to Roy Sumang. Shot clock at 14. Mabula with a relocation. And the ball stays with the Tigers. Bonbon Custodio bon complained to the referee. But he was caught stepping on the line as he was trying to save it. Six seconds to go. Mabulak traveled without a visa. That's right, bubbled the catch there. You know, this adjustment for Coach Gerson of playing two bigs and uh, especially using Mabulak here in the third quarter has helped them uh, make this 15 to 4 run to open the third. The Capitals with seven turnovers. The Tigers with nine turnovers here in the first half. Olayon. Sanchez for three. Bang! That's a big shot there for the rising Tiger. Restores that three-point lead for Davao. Under five minutes to go in the third. Both teams are in the penalty. Robles asking for it. Sanchez on him. Billy Ray. Oh, that's Rob Sennis with the connection inside. Very quiet in this game. You know, physically not really a mismatch, but experience-wise, Sennis is just electing to post up itong si Justin Sanchez. Nothing Sanchez could do there. That was a tough shot, almost with no angle that time. Second field goal of the game. He has four points and one assist. No, four points. Four rebounds. Four rebounds. Tapus on the rebound. Custodio finds the Tapus on outside. Costello, Nama Bulak on him, 4-3. Picked up. De Leon for three. Rebounded by Roy Sumang. Sumang with a penetration denied by Marquez. Yeah, but right now you're seeing a lot more energy from the side of the Capitals. And at that time, Sumang just shut down by... Olayon. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's uh, Olayon stopping Roy Sumang to score. It was a clean block. Rob Sellis. Custodio on him. Foul is called downstairs, but they are in the penalty, so two free throws for Rob Sellis. Right now, this game is starting to be played at a crawl. You know, the, the penalty situation, both teams trying to take advantage of it. Rob Sellis with four points, four rebounds in this game. Very quiet so far in this game is Rob Sellis. You know, Sellis is a scorer. And Coach Gerson, whenever he needs points, has that option to go to Sellis. Although Sellis... So far in this term, tournament, averaging only four points in this game. And he Still misses both four. free throws. One more free throw for Celis. A uh, free throw violation there by the Davo Occidental Tigers. One more for Rob. Alam mo naman itong si Celis, kung gusto niya umiscore, i-score niya, no? 
And I guess he's just waiting for the right situation where he is needed to score. CJ, sell is on him. Hong Teko is in the game. Mabulak on him. He fires and scores from the corner. Hong Teko showing that he has that mid-range jumper on point. Hong Teko with his second field goal of the game. Inside to Salis for two. And the assist by Roy Suman. Mabulak will be guilty of that foul. Again, fighting for position with CJ Katapusan. Coffee break muna tayo. <laughs> right, for Mabulak, that's going to be personal foul number two, but will get a seat on the bench. Nakita natin yung both benches, no? yung mga assistant coach, involved na involved sa game, eh, no? No, that's right. Just showing the magnitude of this ball game. Of course, for the NYC, they're looking to protect home court. Ito, Bisaya dito, si CJ Katapusa played for USC for a while. In uh, the Zisafi, they transferred to, to Adamson and then UP in the UAAP. Bitoon is back here for the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals 56 to 55. Celis lost it to Costello. Custodio. Nice pass. And the finish by Olayon. I like how Custodio showing still that unselfishness. And the steal by. And the basket by Olayon. Just uh, being rewarded for running its Olayon. Has now scored nine points for Davao. Monteco very aggressive in this game, especially here in the third. Let's take a look at this replay here. Monteco. Oh, that's uh, Bonbon Custodio with the assist earlier. The Olayon. Olayon scoring. Ito naman si Monteco. Ang ganda ng paso. At ang ganda ng uh, reverse ni Olayon. Foul away from the ball. It's on Bonbon Custodio. The referee is now really calling it tightly. And that has caused this third quarter to be really long. Oh, it's going to be on uh, Villarias. Villarias for holding on to Bonbon. Bonbon Custodio. And it's going to be on Villarias. Alam niya, penalty. Nice decision there by Bonbon Custodio. Veteranong veterano talaga, no? Yeah, that's right. And back-to-back -back fouls being called on Villarias. Bonbon bon Custodio is at the line. Three points, two assists in this game. Well, despite being known to be more of a scorer, itong si Custodio, I think, has transformed himself to a more of a, you know, in a teaching role for the younger players of Davao. Last two minutes of the third period. Rob Sellis now he finished the job with the two points. Uh, that's what we are trying to say earlier. Rob Sellis very quiet in this game, but if he wants to score, he can score. Yeah, we never needed has the ability to score and now all of a sudden has nine points to his name. Wiko now defending Custodio. Paul is called. Pupunta na naman sa free throw itong si Bonbon Custodio. Same situation He's here. It's getting know. physical down there. Yeah, and same situation here. You know that Bon Bon Custodio, whenever he wants to score, he nice can score. Naman eh. Oh, Tidak mo. Yeah. 
He is using the aggressiveness of Rico. Culiado and uh, Costodio talking to each other. So Custodio is still perfect at the free throw line. 64 to 57. Rob Salis. He goes inside. He is fouled and he will go to the line. And right now the third quarter has been relegated to just these veterans. A shooting right. duel. Oh yeah. From the free throw line. <laughs> So I wouldn't be surprised if Dava will go back to Bon Bon Custodio again in the post. And now he gets the first of two at the line. Rob Selis now with 10 points, five rebounds. So that was the first half, two points to Rob Selis. Eh? That's right, and uh, just coming alive here. Now it's 11. Anyway, two out of two. Custodio. CJ, he gets by. Rico, and he scores. That's a difficult shot there for Katapusan, adjusting in midair. One minute to go. Rico misses inside. There is Bonbon bon Custodio. He hangs in the air and he is fouled. Yet another trip to the free throw line here for Bon Bon. This is his third trip to the line here in the third period. You know, the, the very good scorers, that's really their specialty, be able to get to the free throw line pretty much at will. He is uh, three out of three here in the third period. Four. I mean that. Six out of six. Six out of six. Yeah, that's at the right. foul line. The only two misses I think he's had was in the first half. Colliado. He attacks the baseline and he flies without that basketball. And he turned the ball over. 68 to 59. Umangat na naman ng kalamangan ng Davao Occidental Tigers. This is a different Tigers that we are seeing right now compared to the last game versus the Titans. So Technical foul on Jerson Cavites. It just shows how ready the Davao Occidental Tigers are for this home game. And we are hearing it from the crowd of the Nueva Ecija uh, fans. The Nueva Ecija fans reacting to that one. And you'd want this crowd to react for the right reasons, not due to the technical foul. Hear up thing ng tira ni Juan Mocosto just free throw line. Parang daming gumagalaw eh, no? Pati yung ulo niya tumatagilid. Oo. Pero ah, galing pa rin eh. Very effective. Will McCaloney is back in the game. He will be playing with three fouls with 22 seconds remaining. Bolas Davo Occidental Tigers. The Tigers. Two wins, two losses in coming into tonight. Technical foul. Sa dalawa. Si Bonbon, tsaka si Huiko. You know, Huiko has been struggling with this matchup against Bonbon. And Gustavo, of course, the veteran in him will just keep this uh, a really tough matchup for Huiko. Link for position there. I don't know about that call, Noy. 
targets if anything. Agawa lang naman ng pwesto eh. Yeah, it looks like that was just a double foul on uh, Custodio and Rico. Now they're calling it tight. Bonbon will go to the line again and Rico will go to the bench. That will be his fifth personal. Right now, both teams just looking at the mismatches at the post, and they just keep on going to that. So, Wiko will take a seat. He will sit down with, with seven points, two rebounds. Okay. And Bonbon Custodio is hearing it from the crowd of the uh, Nueva Ecija fans here inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. In, uh, the past couple of possessions, the offense of Davao has been pretty much just giving the ball to Bonbon Custodio <laughs> at the pin. So Bonbon Custodio, you don't have to get Oh. Of course, uh, you're not going to rattle him with uh, a loud hometown crowd. For Bonbon Custodio, there was nothing personal going on. He was just looking for that mismatch, and he loved that mismatch against uh, Michael Rico. Malapan yung katawan niya eh. No? Saka, he's very strong. Ten seconds to go. Custodio. He is still perfect at the line here in the uh, third period. And this is the largest lead of the game. 71-59. And the largest uh, lead so far of the game has been built on the free throw shooting of Bonbon bon Custodio. Nine seconds to go. Bitoon. Sumang for three. No more time remaining, and that will end our third period. And let's take a look at this. Jesse Sanchez scoring at will in this game. Yeah, Sanchez has been leading the way for them. The top scorer with 13 points, and for the second straight game, has been carrying the scoring load for Davao. And at the end of three. Our score is 71. Para dito sa Bisitang Davao Occidental Tigers, the home team, the Nueva Ecija Capitals, 59. We'll be right back. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Protelist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba. Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League. YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Lalo! Yes, kitang-kita niyo naman. Sapatos from Finn. Koto, napagod na sapatos ito. Ang makakashoot na yung sapatos, yun, sayang. Bote na lang, kuya, go. Kaya ba yan? Uy, sobrang layo nun. Uy, sayang, yun. Sige, tira lang, tira lang. Pangkot siya, yun. Okay. Oh, lapit, lapit ako ng konti. Dito, kahit dito, kahit dito, kahit dito. Yan, 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 dito lang. Sige, para lang, ano, sayang to, sayang. Ibigay yun na ito, best. Yun. Sige, go. Tira ng tira. Para sa ating sapatos. Let's go. Oh, dito na daw. Oh, dito na. Kahit dito na daw. Pinagbibig ka na tayo. Para makuha yung sapatos. Wala pa din. Sige. Sige, go. All right. Tira, atake. Atake. Yun. Yun. Yoy. Sayang. Naku po. Naku po. Lumapit na. Wala pa din. Let's go. Wala pa din. Tayo niyan. Gawa lang ng tao yan. No. Kilapit pa lang. Ah! Ah! Oh, isa, isa, isa. Wait na. Meron pa isa. Sige. Sige. Tira. Ayos kayo dyan. Oh, kapos. Oh, naku po. Wala pa din. 
Sing it, last time. Last one, last one. Last one, Kuya. Pangalan, pangalan. Mak, mak, tagi sa. Panatuan, congratulations. Isang sabados, galik sa. Feed, bottom. The defense now, the Tigers playing, they can form on the outside, and Nueva Ecija Capitals hope to build on his bouncing first game. Dava Occidental Tigers tight to their defense to come out with a win. Talk about the offense of Dava, I'm going to get like a wave through your range. The competition keeps getting stronger only here, and the Filipinas in early President's Cup 2024, Pinoy Arvida. We are back here inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. My name is San Diego alongside uh, Noy Africa. Of course, the reporter is uh, Daniel LaGuardia. Fourth quarter action here. The Tigers, they are ahead. 71 to 59 to open up the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they've built this lead due to the free throw shooting, basically, of Bon Bon Pesodio in the third quarter. The Tigers shooting 47 there. Shooting better from the field here. 23 of 48 compared to the 42% of the Capitals. 21 of 50. And also from the free throw line, actually both teams doing a decent job. 20 out of 27 for Davao for a high 74%. Uh, itong Nueva Ecija, 11 out of 16, 68%. Both teams sharing the ball well with 17 assists. And sa rebound story lang. Uh, lamang na lamang itong uh, Tigers. 36 rebounds in this game. 24 for the Capitals. That's uh, quite a surprise. You know, when you have guys like Mabulak, you have Makaloni. Uh, it's really surprising that a team like Davao able to out-rebound them. Costello. Rises up for two, and he gets it. Two points for him here in the fourth quarter. Bench points here. 46 points for, for the Tigers. 33 for the Capitals. Yeah, that's right, and Tungan Davao coming off a game where in they only had 11 bench points. CJ with the offensive rebound. Four three. Major tabingi yung tira. Technical foul called on uh, Costello for what? Faking a foul. Faking a foul, na no? Well, I think. Well, I think this is the result of that earlier call that he got on Mabula, and I think the referees just, you know. Uh, Communicating that uh, you're not gonna get away with the same uh -huh. play. Roy Sumang gets the kind bounce, and it's uh, Capitals uh, basketball. They're down by 13 big points. But uh, despite that, you know, that Davao is very wary of uh, this Nueva Ecija squad who has the firepower to overhaul that 13-point lead. Tatawagan and foul. And Davao. Quickly, they have three fouls already. And uh, they just called the same foul that they were calling on the other end. So, you know. At least consistent. Yeah, that's right. Uh, for the coach, sometimes, you know, uh, you just want that consistency so you will be able to instruct your players on what's uh, the best kind of defense that they can use. Kasi kung manipis, manipis na lang yung tawag. Oh, yeah. On both ends. Kung makapal, makapal lang yung tawag. Robles is back in the game. Sumang for three and he gets it from downtown. Of course, when you have a Roy Sumang, no leader's name. And he cuts down the lead to 10 points, 73 to 63. Manzo is back in the game for the Tigers. And an offensive foul will be called on CJ. Will it be on CJ or Nabong? Yes, it's on Kelly. CJ? On Nabong. Nabong, that will be his fourth personal. Oh, yeah. 
still moving there. Roy launches and then he is fouled. That will be the fourth. No. They are in the penalty game. Kasi offensive foul yung kanina eh. So, age 17 pa lang penalty na itong Davao Occidental Tigers. And this is a bad sign for, for them. And they're in a safe situation we're in. They're going up against the home crowd. And with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, despite a 10-point lead, you're already in the penalty. And you have a guy like Roy Sumang on the other end. Sa Bisaya pa, puro hang nyo ang iyang shots sa free throw line. Straight like an arrow. Yeah, that's right. And watching intently, uh, one of the assistant coaches for Coach Gerson was not able to make the trip to Nueva Ecija. Coach Joseph Guion together with his son, Tyler Angelo, wishing for a comeback here for the Nueva Ecija capital. Sanchez, Bam Bam, Manzo, Nabong, and Olayon for the Tigers. Olayon, Kelly Nabong guarded by Mabulak. Shot clock at one. And rebounded by Bam Bam Gamalinda. He works inside, two points for him. He can do that because Will McCaloney is in foul trouble right now. And of course, him not giving up on the play despite that buzzer sounding. Roy Sumang inside to Billy Ray Robles and he comes up empty on the layup. Bam Bam taking care of it. Sanchez, the high man for Davao. Manzo. Bam Bam for three. Bang! Just an explosion here for Gamalinda with five points. Straight points for Davao to preserve a 13-point lead. Macaloni goes inside. Basketball count. And it's on Nabong. And it's the end of the line for Kelly Nabong. Will McCaloney recognizing that Nabong is in foul trouble. Veterano, I mean, Actually had good defensive position, but at the last second, Nabong trying to strip the ball from the hands of Macaloni. Let's take a look from another angle. Ah, oh, oh. Maganda na sana yung puesto niya. He had his hand up vertically, then all of a sudden at the last second tried to swipe at the basketball. <laughs> Kelly Namong still cannot believe the call. He's, wala naman talagang aamin, ano? Especially not Kelly Nabong. Uh -huh. ah, sino ba? Ah, si Bambam Gamalinda. Oh, okay. Okay, si Bambam Gamalinda is Kelly Nabong. But Kelly Nabong acting as if he was the one called for the foul. Ah, iba eh. Ah, so they're calling the foul off the ball. Ano ba? Talaga. Because it's Mabulak now going to the free throw line. So, two free throws, yan. So, uh, again, happy birthday to Congresswoman Claudine Diana Bautista Lim of Dumper Party List. Happy birthday, ma'am, uh, Claudine. Nueva Ecija chasing the Tigers. In this entire ball game, a ten point lead for the Tigers. Gamalinda thinking three, changes his mind, he goes inside, he kicks it out. 4 3. No, Nabong takes care of it. Short. Picked up. Ooh. Cooler heads prevail. Very close to being called for a technical there. It's Kelly Nabo.
Ah, wala namang foul. Out siya eh, yung bola. Tumama sa likod niya eh. Yeah, Olayan was trying to save the basketball but hit. Napong who was already outside. Oh, my technical ang uh, bench ng ng uh, Nueva Ecija. Sino ba? Ang Tigers? Yes. Naman pa rin ang sampung puntos itong Davao Occidental Tigers dito. Uh, penalty na since the 8-minute mark. Itong uh, Davao Occidental Tigers. While the, the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals, they still... They have uh, three more fouls to give in this game. Roy Sumang is at the line for the technical free throw. And right now, if you're a Davao, you want to keep your tempers in check. You're still ahead by nine points with six and 38 remaining. Harvey Pagsahan seeing action for the first time in this game, joining Sumang, Macaloni. Robles and Celis. This is a good lineup. Uh, yeah, definitely. Noy. Another one of those young guns for Coach Gerson in Harvey Pagsanhan. He used to play for Batang Gilas. Yeah, I covered him in uh, the uh, Shaba game there in Cagayan de Oro. Of course, Harvey Pagsanhan used to play for the UE Red Warriors, has already transferred. To the AAC Generals for Coach Gerson. So, the yung mga SGL players natin dito. Oh, yeah. Special uh, GAB license for the players who are still playing in college for them to maintain their eligibility to play in the collegiate league. 78 to 70. CJ Katapusan back in the game for the Tigers. He will replace Bam Bam Gamalinda. Suma, uh, guarding June Manzo. Pabilisan to eh. Bon Custodio is back in the game. CJ. Uh, last uh, CJ Katapusan. Failing to control the basketball that time. And right now for Davao, you're going to have to take care of that basketball because you know that Nueva Ecija is trying to mount a comeback. The Tigers with 14 turnovers here. Nice move by Rob Selis. Selis knowing that Kelly Nabong already with four personal fouls. Knew that Nabong cannot afford to challenge that shot. 13 points now for Rob Selis. Kelly Nabong is wide open for three. Got it! And you know Kelly Nabong will make those big shots. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. And now, whenever needed, he will be able to deliver. Nabo with his first three-point field goal. The Tigers, 7 of 22 from the three-point territory. Will is fouled inside. Macaloni will go to the free throw line. Bonbon Custodio will be, guilt will be guilty of that foul. Let's take a look at this three. Wide open look, wide open three. Kelly Nabong nails it from downtown. And I think that foul will go on Kelly Nabong. That will be five fouls for him. Macaloni with 12 points and two rebounds. So Kelly Nabong will foul out with eight points and six rebounds. Will scoring at the line. From Naga City in Cebu. And he goes two out of two at the free throw line. 81 74 now. 521 to go. Ball stays with the Tigers. Four seconds to cross the timeline.
Manzo. Shot clock 17. One more custodio guarded by Pagsanghan. One ball. Cross it up. Won't go. Will not get the call. Picked up by Roy Sumang. Sumang backs off. Pagsanghan has it. Manzo on him. Rob Salis. With no room to breathe. He shoots and he misses. And Manzo takes care of it. That's a good defensive stand there by Justin Sanchez. Tatawa na follow to si Pagsanghan. You know, itong si Custodio has already forced a lot of fouls oh, on oh? the players of Nueva Ecija. Single-handedly fouled out itong si Wiko in the third quarter. Malapa din kasi, you know? At malakas. A very strong player. Bonbon Custodio, Robles on him. He shoots over Robles. And he misses, rebounded by Macaloni. Will, he kicks it out. Robles, Sumang for three. And rebounded by CJ. Eighty-one seventy-four. Four minutes to go. Manzo for three. Bang! He wanted that shot coming off that screen. Just pulled up for the three-pointer. And the lead is backed up by 10, 84-74. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV and Bola.TV Follow us on social media Facebook and Instagram at Filipina Super League YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV Manood na lang kayo sa Facebook, Instagram, YouTube sa Philippine Super League Alright, thank you so much Kuya Dahil dyan meron ka mapremyo Magaling sa AMM Bread and Noodles! Yes, ganito lang tayo kay Pilipinas. Pwede ka bumate, pwede ka maglaro, pwede ka mag-enjoy. Kuya Sinyo ulit. Peace! The June Manzo 3. That shot came all the way from Agusan. That's right. In June, His hometown. June Manzo not really scoring heavily in this ballgame. Only has 7 points. He's a good facilitator, I tell you. Yeah, and Manzo already to go with the seven points, the four assists. Macaloni with the penetration and the two points inside. Good play after the timeout call by Jerson Cavilches. Right, and Will Macaloni just trying to will his team back, but right now, still an eight-point lead for them to try and overhaul. Three and a half to go. Manzo. Now it's Will Macaloni. On him, he throws it up, and he is fouled by Will Macaloni. Para na nuno dlo ko ng si Safi tungo dalawa pili na abot ito is a championship don 2015 UV versus USC. And uh, I think that's why you're right here beside me to be able <laughs> to share those kinds of experiences. Jun Manzo coolly sinking his first free throw. No, the uh, Tigers 21 of 28. From the free throw line in this game. You know, Jun Manzo, even when he joined the UP Fighting Maroons in college, you could already see that he was no greenhorn, no rookie. Mm -hmm. uh, talagang ano no, veterano na, and he's showing that even here in the PSL. And he's a born winner. Inside, we go to Will. Sumang, with no room to breathe. Robles. Shoots and he misses. Nothing is going in for the uh, Capitals here, Noy. And making the key stops. 
are the Tigers. As you see, Imanza wisely pulling the ball out and trying to waste some more clock. CJ. Shot clock at five. Manzo from far away. Picked up by Villarias. Into the hands of Will for two. No. And he will go to the line. And I like how Makiloni was the first player back on offense. You have rim, to rim running that time and uh, being able to be spotted by his, by his teammate that time. Good vision there by Roy Suma. Will Macaloni at the line. Nako. Kailangan pa man nila yan, no? Before that free throw was six out of eight. Berwin Melli and El Supremo. Nori Uy. No, oh, parang meron silang pinapakita ng pagkain. Baka ipapadala sa atin sa taas. Oo. Oh. Ito yung uh, ano eh. Justin Sanchez. Yung binding ng Tenko. Five mamas of FM brands and noodles located at Bangad, Kabanatuan City. Dagang salama. Thank you very much. Five mamas of FM brands and noodles located at uh, Bangad, Kabanatuan City. Yeah, actually going around Kabanatuan, dami ko nakita ng mga FM breads and noodles. Maybe we'll still have time to try that out after this ball game. Outside for three, Robles unable to knock it down. Sanchez goes strong, strip and fouled by Celis. And uh, it don't see. Uh, oops, ta timeout. It don't. Uh, Nueva Ecija will be right back. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation. Supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. The games on Monday at the uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan, Bicol. Uh, Spicy Oregons versus the CV Sinaloan Dragons at 6 p.m. Second game, the RCP Demigods versus the San Juan Knights. Oh, versus the San Juan Knights. Uh, mga bagong teams, tatlo na maglalaro. And of course, a home game for the San Juan Knights at the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. Justin Sanchez will split his free throws on that trip. It's a foul. One minute, 43 seconds, 87, 76. Plenty of time to go, Noy. But right now, Coach Jerson electing to go to his young players as Maguliano is now on the free throw line. So right now for Nueva Ecija, it's Gortiza together with Maguliano, Cosejo and Doromal together with the veteran Byron Villarias. For the side of Davao, it's Katapusan, Custodio Sanchez, Manzo, and Pongtenko to try and play the last minute and 40. Again, uh, happy birthday to Congresswoman Claudine Diana Bautista Lim of Dumper Party List.
Taken away. Oh, nakuha ni Manzo yung bola ulit. 125 to go. Park. Manzo. And the steal by Cortiza. Outside three-pointer. No basket. Cortiza with the offensive rebound and the putback. Unsportsmanlike foul. Sayang, ano? Just as I thought there was going to be a timeout to be called here by Davao. Alam mo, yung puntos importante kasi dito kasi single run robin lang tayo eh. Yeah, that's right. As you see here, Ong Tenko from the... Oh, oh, oh ta tama, oh, tama. Yeah. Not a very... Dapat hindi na sana niya ginawa yun kasi lamang na lamang oh, yeah. sila, you know? And uh, unnecessary, I mean, oh. you know, Magulliano has been playing for, what, a few minutes so far. Only less than six minutes and Ong Tenko, being the veteran that he is, should know better. He will be thrown out of this ball game mm. for throwing the ball to the head of Magulliano. Babayad pa yan. May fine yata yan eh. He's gonna be giving free throws. Well, if uh, I covered that game versus the Kazan Titans, this is a different tag we're seeing right here, uh, Noy. Yeah, I guess they were ready for the competition here. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, going up against an undefeated team, uh, a very decorated uh, Nueva Ecija squad, uh, they came in ready to play. And uh, it was, and I, know I, that. I guess, a, a matter of Nueva Ecija not being able to uh, be able to match the intensity that the Tigers have shown. And I know that uh, Coach G, uh, Jersey Cabildas will not take this one lightly. We'll go back to the drawing board because they will play next week. It's the bench of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. They're down by seven points. Plenty of time remaining. Less than a minute to go. Chris Kelly drives and scores! Magic bullet, Noy. Yeah, that's right. And uh, very telling uh, call there on Ong Tenko, even if they seem to have already the game in hand. 87-82. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, ang pambansang kasaba. Media partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipinas Super League. YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. We're back here with 54 seconds to go. Chris Kelly Cortiza scoring uh, four points here in the dying there are minutes of this game, uh, Noy. And add to that, the uh, two free throws coming from Villarias. So that's a 6 to nothing run to cut the lead down to just five points. The Tigers in ball possession. Dalawa point guards ang gagamitin dito ng Davao. Costello and Manzo. Sanchez, Costello. Cortiza on him. Shot clock at 10. Costello puts the move. He throws it up. No, won't go. Gamalinda takes care of it. Costello looking at their shot clock. Sanchez, Gamalinda providing the screen. Here is Bam Bam with two seconds. Bam Bam with the separation. 
It is a 24 second shot clock violation. Well, that actually was still a good play there for Davao, being able to use up pretty much uh, more than 30 seconds of shot clock. Time out. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Protelist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipina Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. Mga batas na sinusuri, binubusisi sa House of Representatives at Senado, bantayan po natin tuwing linggo, 10 o'clock in the morning sa programa. Ito ang Kongreso. Eighteen seconds to go. The uh, Capitals, yes! Good innovator play there for the Capitals. 87, 85, 16 ticks to go. And of course, Byron Villarreal just coming alive here late in the fourth quarter. You just don't want to toy around with a veteran squad like the Nueva Ecija Capitals. So that a difficult shot covered by Bam Bam Camalinda does not matter for Villarias. Nice catch and shoot. Just, uh, you know, uh, unfortunate turn of events here for uh, Davao starting from that unsportsmanlike foul called on uh, yeah. Ongtenko earlier Cra that, crazy things happen in basketball and crazy is in the building <laughs> crazy like you <laughs> but yeah but right now for Nito sa Davao all they need to do is Nanban naman si oh, yeah, that's good oh. defense right there if you're Davao, all you want here is a good inbound and expect a foul to be... And listen to the crowd chanting defense here. 87-85. Here is Bam Bam. Oh! Jump ball! And the arrow is pointing to... The Nueva Ecija Capitals. And what a game we have here. Noi Africa, who is now in Palayan City. <laughs> oh, that's right, but you know, you like how coach... Both teams, they don't have any timeouts remaining. Yeah, coach Gerson choosing to stick with a five that has brought them back in the ball game. Chris Kelly will throw it in. Flores will be fronting him. 13 seconds to go. Doromal, Manzo defending Bam Bam. Five seconds to drive. Oh! We are tied at 87 0. And listen to the crowd. Three seconds. Manzo throws up a prayer. At hindi ba tayo uuwi, Noy? Ayaw pa natin umuwi. First! First! Overtime of the season! And it happened here in Nueva Ecija. Let's take a look at this move. Beautiful shot. And the young gun, Magulliano, with a big shot. Seven points for him. Good presence of mind. Magulliano with a penetration. And the shot from Manzo actually hit the rim. Oh, oh. What a comeback. What a comeback. We'll be right back.
The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, supported by Talos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Don Benitos, Ang Pambansang Kasaba, Media Partners, IBC 13, Fiber TV Live, Blast TV, and Bola.TV. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Pilipina Super League, YouTube channel at PSL underscore TV. We need five more minutes to determine the winner of this game. And the steal by Axel Dolomar. Dolomar going downhill. And it goes out of bounds. It will stay with the Capitals. Just imagine half of the crowd that had already left. Oh, uh, In the last two minutes, <laughs> you know. It started with the Ongtenko and sportsmanlike behavior, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh! And for the first time in this game, that's Paul Cuevas. And the Andre Cuevas. The uh, team owner of the Nueva Ecija Capitals, 89-87. Bam Bam Gamalinda, CJ. We go inside, foul is called. It's on uh, Chris Kelly Cortiza. That's the mayor of Palawan City, our host. Palayan. Palayan, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Palayan. We're losing this our minds guy, right here. This guy is unstoppable there. Two straight field goals for for him. JP Magulliano has just been and a Flores, Flores is hearing it from the crowd. What a treat. Oh, definitely. And that's the last thing you want to do against a home team, you know, involving the fans right like this. Flores for the second try, and he misses both free throws. Will McCaloney takes care of it. The atmosphere here has just become electric. Dromal sees the lane wide open. And at two points! <laughs> just a real stroke of genius here for Coach Gerson in sticking it. Oh, yung mga bago, yung no? Yung mga bata niya. Oh. Dromal Magoliano Cortiza. Yeah, that's right. Here is Axel Dromal with his first two points here in the second half. What a move by Axel. And you like how these players are ready for the big moment. You know, they, they were just put in just, you know, to be given experience and already providing. Justice Sanchez energy. misses. Misses the free throw. Three straight misses here in the overtime period. And the nerves starting to get into the Tigers. And he gets the second. 91. 89 is our score. No, 91 88. Magoliano. Chris Kelly Cortiza now with a basketball. He penetrates and scores again. <laughs> 93 to 88. CJ drives. And Will McCaloney cleans it for the Capitals. Yeah, that's right. And uh, really just getting speechless here with a sudden turn of events. Three minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Axel Doromal short this time. And Bam Bam Gamalinda with a rebound. 4-3, short. Shots not falling in for the Tigers. Noi, Africa. All of a sudden, you know, even from the field, from the free throw line. And uh, luckily for Dito Sa Nueva Ecija Capitals, the mayor has really showed her faith in them. Oh, oh. And being rewarded. You know, most of the people have already left. This is only half of the crowd that we had here earlier. Maguliano. My father's on him. And the steal by Costello. Under three minutes to go. Bamba for three. Rebounded by Sanchez. And he gets the two points. And for a while, Justice Sanchez was very quiet. Yeah, and then they're going to need him now. Especially since they're bleeding for points. 
93-90. Yung chinarge natin, no? Mapupuno pa yan. <laughs> the Romal backs off. Inside we go. Good pass. Macaloni scores. Pleasant foul. And that assist and coming from play. Magulliano. You know, he's been scoring the big baskets, forcing overtime. It all started with the pass of Axel Duramal. Magulliano recognizing Will Macaloni downstairs. Macaloni will go to the line. Right now showing the unselfishness is the Nueva Ecija Capitals. And going to their big man, their big money guy. Axel Duramal will take a seat. Biton comes in. For the uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals, they are ahead by five. They trail me as many as 11 points, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're seeing Magulliano still on the floor. No, the biggest lead of the Tigers was at 14 points. Foul is called on Chris Kelly, Cortiza. And they're going back to that play of trying to post up. And they've been getting a lot of fouls from that. Bawal tayo mag CR, eh, no? <laughs> Justin Sanchez is hearing it from the crowd. Sanchez sinks the first of two at the line. And Crazy needed, is in the building. Yeah, and needed the lucky bounce to make that free throw. And he misses the second. Costello, the recovery. He gets it back. Costello has set up the table. Shot clock at seven. Foul is called. It's going to be on Cortiza. In a back to back place, Cortiza will be called for a foul. And Ryan Costello will go to the line. misses they're shooting badly yeah. at the free throw line here in the overtime period magically suddenly there seems to be both. a lead on that rim for Davao parang yung susi tinapon eh no Bitoon Costello on him follows gold and Bitoon will go to the free throw line you know Bitoon has not yet scored in this ball game but come crunch time so what's going on with the Davao Tigers, Coach uh, Noy? Well, it all started again on that unsportsmanlike foul, and all of a sudden, as, it's as if they just lost their rhythm here. And remember, Kelly Nabon is not there also after committing five straight fouls. Bitoon sinking the first of two at the line. Right now, we're seeing the closers here for Coach Gerson in Bitoon in Villarias on the floor. The mayor, Andre, Viandre Cuevas, the mayor of Palayan City. Welcome to the Rice Bowl of the Philippines. Nueva Ecija. First overtime period. First overtime game in the PSL. And we are here now to witness this magnificent ball game between the Tigers and the Capitals. 98 to 91, a minute and a half to go. Cortiza puts the move, he spins his way, he throws it up, and yes! Oh. With a little English. The young guns of Coach Gerson continuing to perform. Derecho now. Derecho. One minute and 31 seconds to go, 100 to 91. And the most definitely itong Nueva Ecija from maybe about the 1 in 30 mark of uh, the fourth quarter. Dumiretso na ng dumiretso. And you see there, Cortiza. Oh, nung lumamang, that's uh, the mayor here. Palayan City, Palayan City, Viandre Huevas. And Bon Cuevas, the team owner of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. And what a treat. This is a classic ball game. And you know, that's 
why Don't, you know we love playing basketball because no lead is safe. Yeah, uh, we we, re we really thought the game was already yeah. in hand for that's, Davao. That's why I said earlier that uh, crazy things happen in basketball and crazy is in the building. And that crazy is goes by the name the Sandman. <laughs> 100 to 91. Nung lumamang na ang Tigers ay bumulusot na rin. No, ay nung lumamang na ang Capitals bumulusot na rin, no? Yeah, that's right. Eight-point lead. This is the biggest lead of the Capitals. Bam Bam Gamalinda forces the issue. Bitoon, a minute 15 to go. Manzo defending. Will McAloney, the drive. He overshoots. And last touch. Ang uh, Capitals. And right now Pwede for, pa ito. Yeah, and right now for Davao, who can they go to? They're gonna need some big shots here with time beginning to run down. Bam Bam, the veteran. Two straight misses to Bam Bam Gamalinda. 45 seconds to go. Ten seconds remaining in the shot clock. Chris Kelly shoots and scores! Why not? Chris Kelly coming off the bench. Sanchez short on the release. 19 seconds remaining. And the Capitals on the verge of winning this ball game. You know, despite the late emergence of uh, the young players for Coach Gerson, still, you know, if you look at the whole ball game, it was really Macaloni who was very consistent from the opening tip. And what a comeback for the home team, the Nueva Ecija Capitals. And for a while, the fans and us thought that it will be a losing effort for them, Noy. Yeah, and I have to admit uh, to, to be sharing that sentiment. We were already talking about the win-loss records of both teams. But then again, you know, Magulliano suddenly waking up together with that near impossible three-pointer from Bayern Our Villarreal. dumper super move of the game, Chris Kelly Cortiza. Ten points, one rebound, and three assists. Final score, 102 for the home team, the Nueva Ecija Capitals, 91 for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Daniel will be talking to our super player of the game, Will McAloney. Liga after four quarters and one overtime, the Nueva Ecija Capitals are bringing home a win. Nagaling mismo sa home court nila. Ngayon kasama ko ang Carlos PH Super Player of the Game na si Will McAloney with 17 points and 7 rebounds. So Will, kita naman na sa first half until the second half lamang ang kalaban until the last few minutes of the game nakahabol kayo. Para sa iyo ba, ano ang mga naging challenges nyo at paano nyo ito na-overcome para makuha ang panalo? I think uh, first of all, mapasalamat ako kay God sa panalo binigay sa amin. Um, I think yung challenge sa team namin is yung team chemistry kasi may mga bago kami, yung young guys. Um, I'm very thankful sa mga young guys namin, hindi sila nag-give up. And thankful ako sa lahat ng fans na Nueva Ecija na hindi nag-give up sa team namin. Siyempre, madaming fans ay nanonood dito ngayon and also online. Meron ka bang gustong batiyan or pasalamatan? Um, first, uh, pinapasalapan na uh, I would like to say thank you to Boss Bong Cuevas, uh, Ma'am Rian Cuevas, Ma'am Vian Cuevas, Boss Ivan, Ma'am Jen, family ko sa Cebu, uh, Panilag family, uh, Bartolabag family, wife ko lagi nagasupport sa akin, at yung uh, Sibra boys, at yung sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa Nueva Ecija, uh, patuloy nyo po kaming uh, support sa upcoming games namin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again. Congratulations to the Nueva Ecija Capitals and of course our Carlos PH Super Player of the Game, Will Macaloni. Let's get back to you, Sandy and Noy. 17 points, 5 out of 6 from the field, almost perfect. Will Macaloni, our Super uh, Player of the Game. So on behalf of Daniel Aguardia, our courtside reporter, my partner here, 
Noi Africa. My name is Sandy Groom from Nueva Ecija. Mayong gabi, kaninyong tanan.